when you know what you want to do, I think it's just vital to let them know. I don't know who them are, but I'm just going to tell you guys anyway. So when I was at work, I was taking a piss, and I was thinking about things as I typically do, and my mind was stuck on the way that I'm analytical and how I'm just judging and trying to figure out why people do this, why I am like this. Is there something with my chemicals? Is something about my upbringing? Is it nature? Is it nurture? And I'm just like, huh, maybe I want to become a behavior analyst, because at 25, I still don't know what the fuck I want to do. So all I know is I want to help the world, but at the same time, what I realize is you can't help the world. The only person you can essentially help is yourself, but you can also help yourself without making the world a worse place by just being so absent-minded and unaccountable that you're literally hurting people just because they're there. What? You should have moved fast. I'm sorry I'm stronger than you. What? Why should I feel something? It's not happening to me. It's happening to you guys. <laughs> like, what makes people want to say that, act like that, and think like that? And there's just so many things going on in the spiritual aspect, on the physical aspect, on the chemical aspect, as well as just, well, I guess that'd be what, a physiological aspect. I'm just saying with so many variables into play, so many dots to connect, it's just like, hmm. Do we all essentially have free will? Because now that I'm thinking about it, all the information I was originally told was just information to tell me things just so I don't look up at things because they want me to know certain things, but not enough things for me to think freely be free. It's just free enough that I know that I have to go to this factory, come back home and return until I die, but don't die any sooner than they want me to. But who's they? Back to the point. Behavioral al behavioral analyst is I think what I want to go for, but at the same time, I definitely didn't have the grades for it in school just because I didn't give a shit back then. Like, I definitely was questioned, like I said, a lot, but I didn't just do the research. I didn't look into the books. I didn't look into authors or anything like that. It was just, hmm, people watching. Like, technically speaking, I think I could, like, break down case studies. The eldest. I don't remember how old he was at the time, but Daniel. Mind of a 13-year-old, I've always, cons well, mind of a teenager, I've always considered him the indentured servant because he was always doing all the housework. He was literally cleaning. He was vacuuming. He was babysitting, he was uh, lifting up siblings to take them to the showers or take them to their rooms, if not take them out to the vehicles for doctor's visits. He was always going with the old man out to doctor visits. Anytime he had time to relax, he was always being bitched at by the lady, so why do you act the way that he did? Well, he wasn't taught any better, and he wasn't in a loving environment. His escapes were video games, gardening, as well as spending time with one of his favorite buddies before he passed away, which happened to be one of the siblings as well. Levy, she's autistic as well as fetal alcohol syndrome. She would rock back and forth as well as have a weird hand stimulation thing. Some of her vocal stems, because I always say auditory for some stupid reason, some of her vocal stems used to be rep uh, repetition of people's names. As well as she walked on her tippy toes, I never actually knew why she did that. Like, nobody ever asked her to, made her to. There's multiple occasions where we've tried to get her to stop doing that. But I can only think she probably had amazing calves. Gastrominuses, but, like, she had a very petite frame, so it was hard to tell. And those bitches are hard to grow as well. Back to the analyzing the brain. Clearly, the, she's the way that she was because of her autism as well as him because of his me mental delay. As well as uh, the stimmings, I don't know. I would say probably because the community was very loud. And I feel as if from my own experiences, there's certain uh, mental delays where there just has to be a lot of physical movement for the person's nervous system to be able to be calm and feel regulated compared to having to stay still. Like some people being told to sit still is basically like telling them to cut off an appendage. How dare you expect me to mutilate myself? Just don't look at me and maybe I'll stay still. Something will move. Juan, which was supposed to be actually before Levy now, he had really not much going for him psychologically, but I guess abandonment issues could have been a problem because he was given up by his family at a very young age, and I saw his family fall. There was a lot of... Compared to me, I don't have a family fall, so I couldn't tell you if I'm one of seven, one of two, one of three. This nigga was one of 13. Okay, it's super bleak, I don't know if that was his nuclear family as well as his extended family, or if that was just his nuclear family, so I'm just like... There's still a lot of people that look just like you. And I don't mean that in a racial way because of his nationality. I just mean strong genes. And for him, I guess he kind of just went through the typical uh, abandonment issues, hating on others, hating the world, going into a depression. And as well as we didn't get forced to learn much or we weren't expected to ever branch out of the home. He was able to uh, self-sabotage himself at a very young age and kind of stunt his mental capa uh, capabilities. And I guess that's 
due to lack of love, interest, as well as attention and attentiveness. So, like, there was probably about a good seven to eight years that him and I were on a minimal speaking terms. As I didn't say much to him, he didn't say much to me. The only time we spoke was when we had to move things because we moved basically every two years, maybe three years sometimes. As well as dealing with, dealing with situations of the lady having her crazy chaos moments because apparently it was too damn peaceful, so something's gonna happen. And I'd say the reason he was the lady was, yet again, just uh, abandonment issues as well as the community. Like, a lot of these are gonna end up just being the, not really the healthiest community to be in. Like, could we have been treated worse? Fuck yeah. Some of the kids were spanked, but I still asked what the fuck was a spanking, as in I don't know what any of these things mean. I see things, but what the fuck? I saw somebody light something on fire and then stick it into their arm. What? Is that important? What was the thing? I don't fucking know. It's just, I don't know. It was glowing one second and then it wasn't. And then it was out there and then it disappeared and they pulled it out and their arm started to bleed. I don't fucking know. Drew, um, if I remember correctly, he is also autistic as well as something else, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I should have told these stories a lot younger when I actually had information as well as references to double check the information. I still kind of do have a reference, but his mind is deteriorating as well. Mm. Oh yeah, Juan's coping mechanisms was uh, isolation as well as video games. Like he definitely, like me, didn't like being around the family. As well as being a double amputee and missing a couple fingers on both hands, I'm assuming he probably did have bouts of low self-esteem as well as depression. Like, I remember he did have friends in high school, but like... Was that because he was able to navigate through it, or what was it? I don't freaking know. We didn't get along much, and even to this day, just it, it happened how it was supposed to happen. Drew, autism, loves keyboards. That was one of his favorite uh, coping mechanisms, as well as banging his chin, which always just, ooh, no, 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 it took us years and years. And he'd really do it uh, aggressive when he started to get stressed out, so that's that's at least a way to, that you could tell if he was having a good time or not, because if he was having a good time, it wave his head like this but if he was having a bad time he'd be banging up his chin or he'd be playing on his keyboard or he's just very uh he was very vocal when he was enjoying himself brian i'm just trying to remember um he was shaking baby and he was like i would say mastermind breaker i don't know how the f he broke half the shit he did but if he touched it he could probably break it and to look at him it's hilarious because the dude was like freaking five three basically malnourished like you could see his freaking ribs most of the time but he also had abs, and I'm like, how the fuck do you have abs, bro? You're not even mentally there. I'm so fucking jealous. Like, he kind of had, like, the skinny, ripped, malnourished look. I don't know how to fucking explain it. Like, a featherweight MMA body kind of look. Like, if they, you didn't know they were in MMA, you would thought that, like, they were malnourished and almost homeless and just starving. And just, like, feed that fucker. God damn. But, like, clearly, I said he was shaking baby, and if I remember correctly, shaking baby off of walls, and it's just, like, his head wasn't misshapen or anything like that. Uh, it might have been, but I don't personally think it was misshapen. But, uh, compared to I just found children, but <laughs> water in their head, just in case you know what that was. Back to the point. So, to me, personally, it didn't look misshapen, but because of that, his mind was definitely not there. And he didn't even speak verbally. He was just a bunch of, ah, and nah, and he just spoke in sounds, honestly. I couldn't really tell when he was happy or not. Like, he broke shit regardless. And I don't really remember communicating much with him. He did not walk well. Like, he basically walked like a person that was drunk and trying to figure out how to work gravity because he, he always hit the high knees or he just wouldn't really move his legs too often. He, he was definitely an interesting character. A lot of my siblings are interesting characters, for to be honest, but I wasn't one to make videos with them back then. Like, if I would have been more into them instead of into myself because i used to be just like what the fuck is all of this why are they who is this why are these rules what are these rules for how are they implemented are they ever revised what makes a rule a good rule like sometimes i wish i wouldn't have taken more photos and videos but it happened how it's supposed to like i do have photos they're just buried somewhere all over the fucking internet somewhere on my facebook probably <laughs> Facebooks, as I should say. I'm not, I have two accounts of just about anything I have one account of, to be honest. Like, it's just easier to say I probably have two accounts and say I only have one account because most things I do have one account, so I do have two. I really do. That's not all the siblings, but I'm almost out of time. I should probably go back to sleep for work.